What is going on, YouTube? PPS here, YouTube Play of the Day. We got one spot today, college basketball. Um, not many other games, really, in, in action that I want to talk about. There's only one real uh, college basketball game I like. Uh, we got a decent slate, I think like a seven-game NBA slate, but um, I do want to roll some college basketball out there for you guys when we're uh, staying hot like this. So, um, yet again, last night we get another winner, Toledo Rockets. They're my boys uh, in my uh, VIP group. VIP group. The description is Toledo Rockets fan club. Uh, made two and a half units on the Rockets yesterday. Total <clears throat> had the first half over. Had this. Um, Toledo just continues to be a wagon for us. And shout out to Marshall for uh, making some shots, keeping that game close, um, and allowing Toledo to get there pretty easily. Um, absolutely smash it. So college basketball moves to sixteen and six. We, we are absolutely cooking right now. Um, 9.1 units profit. Um, and we got another spot today. Um, let's pull up my lines here for you guys. I want to make sure that um, you guys get these spots. Let's roll it. Here we go. I'm going to start sharing my screen here. And let's get to, I think it'd be eight straight. We're at seven in a row right now. I'm going to be going to Furman here. Uh, I'm going to go to the Furman Paladins team total here. Um, I just think it's kind of low. I, I think 82 and a half um, for a Furman team that on the year averages 84 and a half. Um, obviously, I know they didn't play the greatest of competition, um, but on the year, like I said, 84 and a half points. You got Tulane, who is fifth fastest in the country in terms of pace. Um, adjusted defense, they rank 214, um, which is not great, not bad. Um, but the opponent's offenses that they faced ranked 322 in the country out of 364. So they have not played anybody um, at all, really. And when they have, they've gotten smoked, right? Or, or they've given up this number. Um, we'll take a look at their game so far. Um, the one step up game, I guess, would be Mississippi State. Um, and you look at that, was their last game, they gave up 106 points. Right. They gave up 81 points to Nichols State. Right. That that's not a good look. Right. They gave 84 to Cal, 77 to Prairie View AM. Like those are some big numbers. It's just because of the pace they play, right? And now you have a team in Furman coming in with 84 team total or an 84 uh points per game. Um Tulane has some dudes, right? They got they got a good scoring. Uh, scoring group here, which obviously will get this game going. But I, I like this because they have five guys. Tulane has five guys who score double figures. Uh, Furman has four, but two of them, or three of them, over 16. Marcus Foster, 20. J.P. Pugues, 17. Alex Williams, 16. All right, this is going to be a tough matchup. Um, Furman on the season going off of Ken Palm is 75th in adjusted offense, um, which is going to be – Light years ahead of most of the teams that Tulane has played. Furman also plays fast, 17th in the country. They want to run and gun. Um, and the teams they've played have been significantly better. Um, just looking throughout their their teams, like you go through Tulane's, there was nobody really standing out. You got Wyoming they've played. They played Coastal Carolina, played Princeton, who's good. They played Arkansas. Um, I, I think this is going to be just a crazy pace game. Um, one other thing that I do want to talk about here is – to Lane's inability to defensive rebound. They give up 10 and a half offensive rebounds per game. Furman, um, right about in the middle of the country in terms of that, over their last three games, um, they're averaging about 10 offensive rebounds per game. So with this pace, that is something that comes into comes into play, right? Um, being able to box guys out, being able to grab the defensive rebound and get it moving. But Furman... I, I do expect to be able to uh, expose that a little bit. And also, I expect Furman's three-point shooting numbers to go up from where they are now. They're not great in free throws or three-point shooting, which is something that you don't see um, from a Furman team, right? But looking back to last year, I expect um, a few of these numbers to um, regress positively. Um, Pukes and Foster. Um, we're 36 and 34% three-point shooters last year. 
Fugues is 35% this year, so he's a little bit under where he was last year. Foster's eight points different, eight percentage points different, which is huge. Um, so I do expect that to come up. And even with that poor shooting from him, he's averaging 20 a game. Um, I expect this to be an absolute uh, track meet. Um, but I do trust this Furman team. I, I understand the total is extremely high, um, but we haven't seen Tulane play anybody. They've given this up before in a step-up game. They gave up 100 in their last spot. And now going back home, I think they're going to want to put on a show at home. Um, and I think Furman is a team that is going to be a willing dance partner and obviously have enough scores to, to get us to this number. So love this spot. Rolling with Furman, team total over 82.5. Minus 110 on drafting sportsbook. Let's get to 17 and 6. Hopefully, we can get another winner for you guys and uh keep this going. So have a good one. Best of luck tonight, and um, we'll talk tomorrow for.